welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day as always. In today's episode, we have a whole variety of activities planned for you guys. We buy stuff that we don't need. Remember the Gallardo that broke down? Yeah, we're gonna find out if I'm going bankrupt or not. The R34, I got a ticket in that car in Seattle. We're gonna talk about that as well. We also have a Cars and Coffee tonight. Well, there's not really any coffee. It's more of a car. It's more of a cars and quesadilla, I guess is what you would call it. Be sure to sit back, relax, smash the like button, and let's roll. No, no, no! Where's the Aston Martin DBS going? He's flipping a Yui. Now, as you guys know, the Gallardo is dead. The Jeep definitely needs to be modified soon, and I'm trying to sell the Audi, so it seems like an opportunity to start another project. We've decided that we want to build a go-kart after our track session last week. Two go-karts, so yeah, we're at a junkyard. Now, I'm not gonna be shy about it. I am an idiot. I feel like a go-kart is pretty much the most simple thing. They have a bunch of engines inside, but I just had to show you guys this motorcycle graveyard. All different sorts. As you can imagine, I have not a clue what I'm looking at. The Boneyard. We are going to continue on with our journey where all great American projects begin. The good smell of brute force, hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. Maybe a little Chinese engineering as well. We've made it here to Harbor Freight. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh goodness. That's eh, a little out of the budget. Um. We have this one. It's a Predator engine, 212 cubic centimeters, six and a half horsepower, 8.8 .8 pound-feet of torque at 2,500 RPM. We have our two engines. We also picked up this uh, steel tubing for the frame. Now I'm gonna be out of town for a little bit, so this project, although we've made a lot of purchases today. Right, there she is, go! Go Jeep, go, go, go. If you're gonna get one, you always go highlighter yellow. Always. Car spot in Mecca here in Utah, GTR. Wow, that's a 2017. Oh. It's brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. Wow. It's Godzilla. Is the license plate. <laughs> nice. Oh, what's up, mate? This has now become the, uh, the story of my life. Pushing this car around parking garages. Now, before Makes and Models gets here with the trailer, we need to remove the ski box. Easy enough, baby. We just arrived here to Makes and Models up in Layton, Utah. They have a very gorgeous first gen Gallardo. The front end lift is up, it's riding high. They're in off road mode. And then we have a new Audi R8 V10. As you can see, the Gallardo is back there in the trailer. They drove all the way to Park City to get the Gallardo and drove it all the way back here, completely free of charge. Check out how this thing works. You just take the fender off and then the door just opens right up. So you don't have to like climb through the window. Nice and slow. They're both riding high too. They're twins. Cool. With the front end lift up. Check it. Yeah. That'll work. Do some off road. Now, before finding out the damage, I want to let you guys know that I have now added double XL and triple XL Strad shirts on the Stradman store. I'll put a link in the description below. Be sure to go check them out. Also, I am doing the next round of giveaways. In yesterday's upload, I won this watch from Rockwell. Now, if you buy one of these Stradman shirts in the next 10 days, you will automatically be entered into the drawing for this. And if you've already bought a shirt, you're already automatically entered. So it's a pretty cool watch. Nothing quite like a first gen Mercy. So it's also here just to get routine servicing as well. Take a quick look at the V12. the differential right here and this was mounted right in here so that's basically just been deleted and now it's been converted to rear wheel drive it's totally gonna change the driving dynamics 
Today is Wednesday. On Friday, the technician is going to take a look at the Gallardo. There's a couple issues at hand. Worst case scenario, it might need a full clutch rebuild. That runs $7,600 for OEM clutch and flywheel. $2,500 of that is labor. 5,000 of that is parts. There's also a possibility that it's simply just a hydraulic issue related to the slave cylinder. However, to access the slave cylinder, you still have to pull the transmission. Because there's so much labor involved in pulling the transmission, assuming the clutch is probably gonna be near the end of its life anyways, I think we're probably just gonna end up replacing it no matter what. All in all, I'm looking at around $7,600. Ah, <sighs> jeez. I'll see you soon, Lambo. I will see you soon. Lambo, Lambo, Lambo! We got an LP560 Gallardo right there. Not bad. Chick-fil-A, hey, hey! All right, so moving on. So today, you guys are all wonky. I need my chicken. This right here, this would be the introduction to my food blog that I'm gonna be starting here soon. Oh, yeah. Sausage and ketchup? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. We got whipped cream. And cover gate thing. Great, thank you so thank much. You. So quick. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't explain the milkshake to you guys. But look at this. We got whipped cream, cherry, chocolate shake. It would be incredibly rude of me to eat in front of you guys, especially because I'm not going to share. Okay, we're back. We are back. I have been eating my Chick-fil-A while swiping on Tinder at the same time, and I just got a match. And... Well, let me, let me read you her profile, because I just know you guys are, are dying. Climbing, camping, hiking, traveling, outdoor buddy, where are you at? I'm right here, I'm right here. This, I am right here. Here's my rough draft, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Here's what I say. Hi, insert her name, I, for privacy reasons in case she's a subscriber, well, I say, okay, hi, insert name, awesome climbing pic, is that big Cottonwood Canyon, A. Eh? Hope your day is going great, exclamation point. Should I do it, should I send? Should I send? I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send. Oh, that's the wrong way. I finally found the United States Post Office here in Cottonwood Heights. Now, if this piece of paper means nothing to you, that's because you have not seen my video of myself getting pulled over in a Nissan GTR R34 in Seattle, Washington. 62 and a 35, that represents a 27 over the speed limit, so well deserved, $310. Now, if you haven't seen that video, you gotta go check it out. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. I'm also going to share a bit of a metaphor with you guys to represent what it feels like to be pulled over in an R34 in the United States. Metaphor, part of speech, noun. The use of a word or phrase to refer to something that it isn't, invoking a direct similarity between the word or phrase used and the thing described. You're at school, it's lunchtime. So you and your mates naturally go to Taco Bell, right? You pick up some tacos, maybe get a soft drink, and then at the very last moment, you decide to get some of those new chicken nugget things that you dump into the nacho cheese. They're pretty delicious, right? If you haven't tried them, well, regard, ir that's irregardless. Good lunch, top lunch. You and your mates, you head back to school. This is when it happens. That's when the moment hits you that you should never ever have Taco Bell again. Ever. Again. You start to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Then the cold sweats come on. Every single pore in your entire body begins to sweat. Pores you didn't even know exist. At this moment, you realize you forgot to put on deodorant. And then the most beautiful girl in class finally asks you a question and you mumble on some garbage to her as you're trying to begin controlled breathing exercises. Freeze this moment, freeze this moment. That right there, folks, that is what it's like to get pulled over in a Nissan GTR R34 in the United States. So you gotta go check out that video. Go check it out, link in the description below. Now, I'm going to be getting a traffic lawyer involved. Actually, a subscriber reached out to me and his father is one of the top attorneys in Seattle. He owns a Lamborghini Murcielago. So, he seems like the type of guy fit uh, to fight the crime. Now, I'm not going to deny I deserve a speeding ticket. My main goal in getting a traffic attorney involved is to try to just get this thing off my record from an insurance standpoint. So, yeah, that's so gross. Why
we'll hear more soon. I'll be sure to uh, keep you guys updated as I hear more information. Hopefully, I'll be successful. But oh no! What? No! 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 no. So yeah, this is the ticket. I, in my haste, I forgot to put it in the envelope, and I just dropped the envelope in the PO box. This is what it's like, guys. This is what it's like being an idiot. <laughs> I gotcha. I'm just kidding. I got. Uh, this is a copy. This is a. Uh, this is a copy. I did that on purpose. Just want to fake you guys out. So, anyways, um, let's go. I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna go. Actually, quick update. Quick update on Tender Girl. Um, it's been about 45 minutes. No response. We matched, and I waited a little bit of time to uh, send her a message. So now she has to wait even longer than I do before she messages me back, because that's the game. If she messages me back immediately, she seems too interested. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. I would assume. I would assume that she probably loved the message that I sent to her. That's really the only assumption to assume. Right? Would you guys agree with that assumption? And back, backtracking to that Taco Bell metaphor, I apologize, that was a little bit dumb. Last night when I was thinking about what I was going to be filming today, that metaphor popped into my mind. We all know that you come up with the dumbest things when you're laying in bed and can't fall asleep. So, I do apologize, but um, yeah, it's the best I could come up with. It, 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 I, I just couldn't. Cars and quesadillas. That would be Billy Blanco's. That is the quesadilla portion, and in all honesty, that is the better portion. And then the car portion is over here. A wild <laughs> jungle puppy here in the Safari of Park City, Utah. Very, very rare breed. There's a Ford GT right there, but I'm in the Wrangler and I can't keep up. This is a disaster. There's, there's literally nothing I can do. This is the slowest vehicle ever. The car is so low and so wide, it looks like a UFO. Alright, see you mate! I'm flying to California to- what? I'm flying to California tomorrow night for a big time video. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. This is like the pent-ultimate video of my entire career. Be prepped, be ready to go, we got some big time content headed your guys' direction. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but uh, just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.